Hello and welcome to Mickey Collects Poké where I talk about anything and everything Pokemon TCG. Silver Tempest is here and I have the privilege of opening up this booster box early. Take a look at this beauty with Lugia as the cover Pokemon. Yep, it's the last main set of the Sword and Shield series before we head to the Scarlet and Violet era. Can't wait to open up this booster box. Let's go. Alright, here are all 36 booster packs in the booster box. We have four different designs. The Alolan Valpix, look at it, so cute. We have the Reggie Ileki finally having zero retreat cost. Uh, it's the fastest Pokemon in, in the whole world, right? You can't possibly give it too much retreat cost. And we have Lugia as well as Reggie Drago. Okay, so these are the four pack arts that you should find. Are there any more pack arts? Yep, just this four. Correct. Okay, so our chase card is the Serena Fuad have been waiting for Serena to appear as a Fuad trainer or even as a trainer for the longest time. Alright, so let's start with the Valpix. Okay, Alolan Valpix or is it Galarian? I think it's Alolan, yep. So Ice type, we do want um we do want Serena definitely, but there are a lot of other playable cards as well. Uh, won't do the energy game because I think you guys are bored of it, right? Okay, so we will go slower this at, at the start. So Clang, Emergency Jelly, uh, whoops, sorry, there we go. Araquanit, Bamfi, Fletchling, Chimchow, Feebus, Fennekin, Regenerate Energy. Ooh, didn't know this, this was this. As long as it's attached, it provides colorless energy. Okay, so heal 100 damage when you evolve. Okay, not too bad, not too bad, I'll say. And then the Fion is the rare card. Okay, so we'll put the reverse hollow here and the rest here. Okay, next up is the Lugia. The Lugia. Why did I suddenly become Italian? Okay, so Lugia Vista is definitely one of the cards that most playable card that is in this set probably i would say one of if not the most uh playable card professor leventon okay well wow, three pokemon is soon from this card part to your hand okay drag load i think we have a hit definitely a hit fennekin kevin durant and moga veldum stunfist reverse hollow miss davis and reggie Ileki v okay okay very nice uh, where are my sleeves? Where are my sleeves? There you are, there you are. Reggie Ileki V. So, this is, if you put such a good card as, such as Lugia in the set, you have to find a counter to it, right? So Reggie Ileki will hit Lugia V-Star for weakness, and it's pretty good, right? V-Star, V-Max, I think there's a V-Max, not too sure. Reggie Ileki. Oh, this is hard to open. So this is the Reggie Ileki pet art, you know, why not, right? Okay, there we go. Oh. Okay, I think we have another hit. Uh, there we go. I need to adjust to th this new stand, right? Toxic Crow. Pikachu. Growlithe. Clink. Wilma. Dratini, Clay Doll is the Reverse Hollow, and a Hisuian Arcanine V. Okay, Irresistible Force. As long as you, as often as you like, you can shift one Fighting Energy from your other Pokemon to this one. Okay, so you need uh you need some form of Energy Acceleration to your bench, and then shift it to Arcanine, Hisuian Arcanine. Next up, we have the Regidrago. So Regidrago Vista, definitely one of the other more playable decks that you can form using this. So I have covered the Regidrago deck in the last video, definitely. So many ways you can play it, of course. Meowtic, Gaily, Dewfighter, Spinda, Phoebus, Noibat, Snorunt, Curlia. Curlia is also one of the more playable cards in this series. Uh, it works like uh, Minchino slash Shinchino slash 
uh, light part, right? Okay, so discard one card, draw two cards. So this this mechanism will probably not get out of Pokemon, right? Okay, next up, another Reggie Lucky pack. So let me know what are your thoughts for Silver Tempest. You know what are your chase cards and everything. Okay, Altaria. Lance, Lance is definitely very useful in the Reggie Drago deck. Allows you to search for three Dragon Pokemon and then put them into your hand, and then you have to Ultra Ball them away. So Reggie Drago, I th I hope we pull pull it in case we don't. Reggie Drago V Star allows you to to use any dragon uh, any attack from your Dragon Pokemon in the discard pile. So reminds you of Mewtwo and Mew GX, where you can copy any attack. And the best part about it is you don't have to pay the energy cost. So it costs um, three and oh, we have a hit. It costs three energy cards uh, to attack, but you can you can attack with use an attack that costs four, right? Holucha. So get the Maru, but two. Ponita is the reverse holo, and we have Mawau V Star. Okay, okay, not the V Star we wanted to be honest, but it is still a V Star. So haven't really found out what it does. So sudden eater. If this Pokemon move from the bench to the active, does 90 more damage, and then the V Star ability. Uh, if this Pokemon is on your bench, you will switch it. If you do, okay, okay. So it's like a bosses. It's like a what's that? Uh, I forgot which supporter it was that that allowed you to switch your Pokemon and then switch one of your opponent's Pokemon. Ah. Oh, the name evades me. Oh my god, the name evades me. I can't think of it. Guzma, yes, Guzma, correct. It works like a Guzma. Okay, and then you do 180 damage to it. So it knocks out your Crobat and your Luminions. And with a Choice Belt, and you can knock out some Vs as well. Not too bad. Rufflet, Milotage, we are our first character CHR, I believe. CHR slash CSR Milotage. Beautiful card, really beautiful card. And then a Forest Seal Stone, yes! Okay, so I want to talk about the Forest Seal Stone, but let me sleeve the Milo Titch up first. Okay, so the Forest Seal Stone is one of the best cards in in this, this set, definitely. So what it does is when you attach this to your one of your V Pokemon, it, it gains this ability, you know, you can search your deck for one card, any card, and put it onto your hand. Really useful for a lot of decks, but Mew V Max comes to mind because this card is not affected by Path to the Peak. So even with Path to the Peak in play, you can still use it. And then that can be your power, that can be your counter stadium, it can be... It can be anything you want, basically. It can also be your late game bosses order. Uh, we don't have anything. So lens, clang, cling clang, bada bing, bada boom, chim chow, feral seed, Pikachu. <laughs> what? Every set must have a Pikachu, right? Spindar and a crocodile. Let's see the ability when your opponent move. Play this Pokemon to evolve. You can discard random card from opponent's hand, and if it's knocked out, okay. So this is hand disruption. Uh, to be honest, I've been wanting to find a hand disruption deck in Pokemon but it's not very viable because all the current meta decks have ways to draw more cards right so it's hand disruption very hard to play and very very hard to pull off I wish there was better me better mechanism to do that uh, the best way is just rock you have to wait for Roxanne a chance to play Roxanne and then and then start on from there. So Brandon, you can only use the last card, then draw a card for each man Pokemon. Okay. Beltoy, Sunken, Clink, Patil, Liden, Talonflame, and Cobalion. Okay. Basic Pokemon deal 30 more to Dragon Pokemon. So it's the anti-dragon uh, anti dragon mechanism. Not going to be very useful in, in this in the game to be honest Kobala, but interesting one two three four okay Raichu 
Thoracan, Polison, Batu, another Pikachu, Pikachu and Raichu in the same pack, Spinarak, and Hisuian Bravery, Reggie Elecky. So, what was I talking about? Reggie Draco V Star. So, lots of Dragon Pokemon that you can copy their attacks. So, Dragon Pokemon came back in Evolving Skies, and one of the biggest draws about Dragon Pokemon is that they have no weakness, so it's very very hard to counter that because with Lugia you can counter with Lightning, uh, Raichu Reverse Hollow, not too bad. Yeah, with Lugia you can counter with Lightning, uh, Pokemon and Talion Tele also can be countered with Lightning, so do watch out for for Lightning decks making a comeback, right? Okay, Professor Leventon, Matang. Toxapex, Togedamaru, Esper, Smeagol, Liden, Fatil. Ooh, Rayquaza V Max. We have struck gold. Very nice. And a Clink Clang. So we have a Clink and Clank and a Clink Clang. But yeah, Rayquaza V Max. So, uh, very, very nice card. But playability wise, uh, it promised so much, but didn't really deliver, to be honest. Uh, you know, when you pull off the combo, it's it's very um, damaging. Definitely, it can be a very very strong deck when it works right. The problem with it is it doesn't work a lot of time. Okay, so that's the V Star marker, Gym Trainer, Curlia, Venomoth, Target the Maru, Sendao, Solix, Indiri, Meditite, and Noivern. Shout out to Dr. Thing Game who loves his Noivern decks, right? When everyone was playing all the meta decks, he stuck to his 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 Noivern V deck. Okay, that's a lot of whites. How many in a row? Okay, Sunflower. Uh Primodo, that's your track issues, right? Yeah, you may discard the card to thin your deck. Drowsy. Waiting for this card for the longest time, Drowsy and Hypno. It was supposed to come out in the previous set, but it got delayed. Professor Burnett! We have the Professor Burnett full art and a Zera Aura. So this came out in the V Union uh, promo boxes. Professor Burnett allows you to search your deck for two cards and then discard them. So it will be useful in your Reggie Draco decks where you discard your Dragon Pokemon. It can also be very useful in your Lugia decks where you discard your two Archeops, which is definitely what we want. Also, we need. Wow, that is a lot of white. Let me see. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's six white coats in a row. What are the odds, right? One, two, three, four. Uh, but we are still getting good hits from the white coats. So, Professor Burnett and Rayquaza VMAX. So, not complaining, not complaining. So that is the good part about the recent sets, right? Even the white coats are giving you good hits, you know, with the trainer gallery cards. So it's not like the previous Sword and Shield series where, you know, a white coat or a or a unfavorable coat it used to be it used to be a green coat, right? Doesn't get you anything good. Right you. Felthorn, Toxicro, Routes, oops, Fletchling, Dratini. Clink, Stunfish. See, we have another hit from a white coat. Do drink, do Drew Digon, Drew Digon. Okay, so revenge. Uh, not revenge. When you're knockout, you add how much damage? One twenty damage. Uh, okay, okay. We will take it. We will take it. Drew Digon. Okay, so I think we are about halfway done. I think. So half more to go. It. I am not going to count how many. We won't know when we are reaching the end, right? Okay, finally we have a black hole. What goes down must come up, right? Ooh, it's a hit, it's a hit. I feel some texture. Seal Glaive, Go Band, Meow State, Venonet, Routes, Spinda, Pikachu, Noi Band, Stone Journal is the reverse hollow, and a. Rashiram V full art. Okay, okay. I didn't Rashiram V. Let's see what it does. I we, ha we haven't seen the V star or V max. Is there one in the set? I don't think so. What does it do? Search your deck for two basic energy cards and attach to one of your Pokemon. 
uh, white blaze full art no, white blaze full art <laughs> white blaze uh, flip a coin with tails during your next turn this pokemon can't attack uh, we'll take it 200 damage pretty decent we want we want our Serena, where is Serena? I mean, just even the even the regular Serena is good, right? Yeah, okay, the black coats are starting to come. Uh, I, th I think it's a V. Brendan. Altaria. Flashinga. Routes. Quaglon. Solosis. Zubat. Elegon. Indidi. And a unknown V. Okay, okay. We are getting the small hits. Not the super playable hits, but unknown V does have. Uh, sneaky attack, you know, um, it, it, you can summon it, Melanie at a double double energy, victory signal if you have used this attack, if you, you can only use this attack and when you only have one prize card, you win the game, right? Okay, sneaky sneaky sneaky, uh, you don't want to start with it though, yep, it can be your, your late game, especially against single prizes, right? You hit them until you, one price left, you know. But most of the time, you you can get what you want without using it, right? So oh, it's a normal rare. Yeah, that's what I do sometimes. I feel it whether I get a hit, and then I open cut by cut to see what I have. Routes is the reverse solo and area does okay. Pokemon or opponents. V star attack costs one energy more. Okay, interesting, but it's a stage one. Um, could be useful in a Zoroark deck, I suppose. So, haven't seen the Hypno. We do want to see the Hypno. Uh, I want to build a Zoroark deck based on Hypno. Oh my god! Whoops, give me a bit. Okay, everything is messed up already, so we will just we will just see, go according to what uh, it is, <laughs> right? Swellix, Rotom, Drippy, I don't know which one is the rare, Vulpix, Imoga, I think it's still in order, Crocodile, and Rapidash, so Rapidash is in the pro build and battle promo, so discard a fire energy card from your hand and you deal 30 more damage. Uh, I mean... With the exit of Palkia and Talion, when rotation comes, we could see our uh, fire decks coming back. But at the moment, fire decks not very viable to be honest because of the popularity of Palkia and Talion, right? I think it's a V. Capturing Aroma, Slurpuff, Honchkrow, Wilma, Makro, Emoga, whoops, skipped a few cuts there, Kevin Durant, Chin Chao. And survive superior V. Okay, so superior V is a uh, V star. Is a tanky deck that some people might play. Okay, so we have been skirting around the V's, right? You know, we are getting the okay V's, but we are not getting like Lugia, Reggie, Drago. Yeah, we need those. We need those to play. Okay. Okay, fighting energy, slurp puff, lance, uh, Arken. Uh, we need the Archeops, not the Arken, right? Pamphy, Indidi, Marini, Mistravius, Sublu, Miss Magers, and a Del Fox. Okay, Lugia pack. Will we bring us more good luck? You get it? Good luck. Okay. <laughs> It's a uh, white coat. Yeah, after a few consecutive black coats, we have to get some whites, right? The Dene, Rexon, Morpeko, Angry Morpeko, Rufflet, Vulpix, Drowsy. We need some Hypnos, definitely. Mischievous, Swalix, and a Gardevoir. Okay, so this is an upgrade on Kalia. Kalia, you discard one card, draw, draw two, right? So this one you just draw two. Don't have to discard anything. So mix up Reggie Drago pack. So the Kalia engine could see some gameplay. Okay, that's three whites in a row. 
Come on, give us some black codes. Or at least give us give us a TG TG hit, right? Bunnery, Drowsy, Spinnerack. Brandon is the reverse hollow and an armado. Okay, let me clear this up a bit. Getting a little messy. Okay. More than halfway done. Still no signs of Serena. Uh, please don't tell me the full one was the best hit of this box. One, two, three, four. Punch Crow. Oop, there we go. Nine Tails. Leafy Camel Poncho. This could see some gameplay. You know, when you prevent prevent all effects of um, your opponent's supporters to the V Star. You know? V Star or V Max. So, this is your anti bosses order mechanism. Murkrow, Veldum, Veltoy, Sunken, Morpeko, and a Arcanine. Yep. You. You this you the your V Star or V Max cannot be bosses order cannot be Serena could be useful especially if like uh you want it to to stay on the bench right still in an unidentified fossil I was wondering when it would make it come because we have some uh fossil Pokemon coming back. Okay, go. Candice, take a look at top 7, you can put any number of water Pokemon and water energy cards and put them in your hand. It's not an Irida definitely, but could be useful. Smeargle as per Vegan Energy! So, Vegan Energy Reverse Hollow, very nice, one of the better kits you can get, right? Vegan, or rather useful cards that you can get. Vegan Energy attached to, um, does it have to be attached to V? Nope, you don't have to, but the Pokemon you attach the Vigan energy to takes 30 damage less from your opponent's V Pokemon. So this is definitely going inside my deck. Vigan energy reverse hollow. We do need more though. So which is what makes Lugia Vista so powerful. And that reminds me I haven't gotten any card to add to to create the Lugia Vista deck. So we need Lugia V and V Star definitely, <laughs> as well as Archeops. So where are you, Archeops? So Archeops allows you to to attach two special energy cards from your deck to one of your Pokemon. So Lugia V Star allows you to to summon two po colorless Pokemon from the discard pile. So you get the combo, right? Anorich, Kevin Durant, Emolga, Beldum, Stunfist, Valpix, Fluffy! Okay, so haven't been celebrating a hit in a while. So this is the Lightning Energy uh, Accelerator Fluffy. Attach a Lightning Energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Okay, so this is the Lightning and uh, Lightning Deck. Accelerator, discard as many lightning energies as you want because Fluffy can bring them back. <laughs> Works very well with Radiant Great Ninja as well. Radiant Great Ninja discards the lightning energy, draws two cards, and then Fluffy brings them back. Relicant, Halucha, for Furry Soap Go. Search for basic Pokemon, put onto your bench, and then shuffle your deck. Okay, not too bad. And then Verizon. Hey, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven packs back. Urgh, don't make me wait on the, the big hitters, right? Serena, where are you? You know, most decks are looking to play at least two Serenas because it can, yeah, it's useful definitely. You, you can, oh, there we go. At least it's a consolation. So I do want to talk about Serena because you, you can do two things. One is to discard up to three cards from your hand and then top up your hand to five. So this is your a very useful draw mechanism. And secondly, you can boss out a Pokemon V. So this is, let's put this here because definitely going inside the deck. Gym Trainer. That's an uncommon card. Why do I only have one in the whole box? This Dravius. Radiant Jirachi. Oh my God, the centering. Okay, so this uh, Radiant Jirachi can be cheeky, you know, you put it on the active. If you flip two coins and get both of them hits, you knock out the active. 
And then if your opponent knocks it out, you can search for three cards. Any three cards from the deck and put it into your hand. So can see some cheeky play. And then Dragon Knight. Okay, so this is one uh, attack that um is one attack that you definitely want to use in your Reggie Draco deck. Uh, with just three energy, you can copy this Dragon Knight's attack. Search your deck for three basic energy cards and put them in to put them at your Pokemon any way you like. So this is like your your Trinity Nova from Arceus V Star. So deals 180 damage as well. Of course, most of the time Trinity Nova does 180 because Arceus V Star most most Arceus V Star will attack with a double turbo energy. So yep. We have the pieces for Reggie Drago deck. One piece, one small piece now. Okay. Another V Guard energy that's going into the deck. Hypno! So, this is the card that was supposed to come out in Lost Origin but didn't. So, a set late but better late than never, right? So, what you want to use is Cycle. Search your deck for up to two Stage 1 Pokemon and put them onto your bench and then shuffle your deck. So this is very useful in Zoroark decks, right, the baby Zoroark. So, might try out, you know, this gives Zoroark decks a new lease of life. Okay, we do need more though. Is it a rare? No, it's an uncommon. So why are we getting so little of the uncommon card that we need? Serena, where are you, Serena? I need more Hypnos as well. So black coat. Oh nope, it's not a hit. Okay. Ah so close. Where are the Archeops? Serena, yes, there we go. Deck. Draglock, Spinarak, Beldum, Quagon, Slo Zubat. How do we pronounce it? Solosis. Solosis. Zubat Macro is the reversal. There we go, Archeops, our first Archeops. So uh, we have spoken about what it does already, so but we just want to look at it, right? Search for two special energies, put them into your hand, uh, attach them to one of your Pokemon. So do take note, you cannot spread the two um, special energies to different Pokemon. It has to be on one Pokemon, right? Archaeops, and then shuffle your deck. So we do need one more, no, we need at least two more. Uh, but it's a red card, so I'm um, not going to do one per box probably is about the rate that you can get uh, Serena though, Serena uncommon, we need more Serenas and of course the full art Serena would definitely be better Toxapex, Professor Leventon, Phoebus, Fanfi, Liden, Rufflet, Fennekin, Reverse Hollow Lantern and a Zygar. Is this any use for Regidrago? Nope Okay, so Reggie, Lecky, so we have two packs left after this is the Lugia and the Reggie Dragon. So I think we will open the Lugia up last. Okay, so it's a black code. It's probably not a hit. Uh, low bunny. Hey, Altered Serena, very nice. Thing. Pharisee, okay, so the, the Serenas are showing up late. Okay, uh, Leafy Camo Pouch and a Reshiram V, which we got the full art of just now, which is the biggest hit so far, right? To be honest, I prefer the Professor Burnett to, to Reshiram V full art. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so white coat. Let's see. Ninetales, Clay Doll. Hypno, yes, we got another Hypno. That's what we want. Fletchling, Phoebus, Fennekin, Bichion. Bichion is the reverse hollow. And a bravery. So last pack, please be something good. Lugia, don't disappoint me, right? We just have one V-Star and one... And one, what, Radiant Pokemon? So hopefully now. Just one V star in the box, not a good sign. Can this be he on? Emergency Jelly, Macro, Fanakin, Beldum, Baltoy, Altaria, and a Talonflame. 
All right, so here are our hits from the booster box. We have the Raiden Jirachi, and then we will go to the trainer galleries. We have the Myotich, which I think it's probably one of the most beautiful cuts in the set, right? Fluffy, Drudigon, and yeah, just the three. Yep, the three trainer gallery, uh, character rares. And then for the Vs, we have Reshiram V, Superior V, Unknown V, Isuin Arcanine V and Reggie Ilaki V For V Star, just the one Mawal V Star And then the Full Art Reshiram V We have the Rayquaza V Max which is the best hit of the Trainer Gallery And my favourite hit of the box is Professor Burnett Alright so that was the early opening of the Silver Tempest Booster Box Not the best of boxes that I've opened to be honest in terms of hits But still can't complain right we did get quite a number of the playables that we needed, just not the the more expensive ones like your Lugias and your Reggie Dragos. But we have our V Guard Energies, we have our Serenas, and of course Hypno that I've always wanted to try. Let me know what you want to hit in Silver Tempest in the comments. To be honest, Silver Tempest is not going to shake up the meta a lot. You are probably going to see a lot of Lugia V stars around definitely but it doesn't shake um, the whole meta up like the Lost Zone Engine or Mew V Max. My verdict on Silver Tempest, it's probably just a small extension to extension to the current meta and probably just adding one big deck in Lugia V Star. Reggie Drago could see some gameplay but based on what we have seen in Japan so far, uh, it's not making a big wave. It's still dominated by Lugia Vista. Let me know what cards you are looking forward to pull and what decks you are looking forward to form in the comments. I hope your pulls are better than mine. I'll send you lots of love. See you in the next video.